All right, so hello and welcome to the test server. There's been a massive change as of me recording today, at least. And uh, yeah, they've like changed a ton of stuff in the puppy pack, which is the main sort of the main focus for the changes. But everything's been altered. Like a load of stuff in the turtle pack's been changed as well. But yeah, loads of new food, loads of new pets, loads of old pets have been changed, and uh, we've been introduced to a new a new mechanic, which are toys, which are effectively hard mode modifiers that are good. <laughs> they are basically good modifiers, yeah. They last for two turns, and I'll try and find one of the... Well, you know, the second I find one of the pets, I'll buy them so I can show it off, but... Yeah, so it's pretty interesting. And there's, like, different ones for each um, shop tier, too. So there's, like... I don't even know. There's probably, like, 15 in total. There's quite a lot. 14, maybe? And here we go. Here's the tier 1 one, so... Ferrets, buy one level 1 toy from tier 1. So if we pick that up, we get to choose from all of the tier 1 ones. And again, there are only two from tier 1, but some of the other tiers have three. And there are Balloon and Tennis Ball. This one triggers, gives you 1-1 one, one when it breaks after two turns. And this one just gives you two damage extra every fight for two turns. I'm going to take that because I'd much rather try and get a couple of wins out, I think. And roll again. <laughs> I think I will do this. It's, it's going to be a waste because this is a, a problem with this interaction. If you just buy another one, it doesn't like increase the timer at all. It just replaces it completely. So if I buy this, the ability doesn't really do much. You know what? I actually don't even care about getting the level 2 ability. I'm just going to buy them all now, I think. Let's just keep getting tennis balls for no reason. <laughs> uh, it feels bad, but I, I don't know if there's a better way to do that. I didn't really want to wait just to replace it next turn with a slightly better version of it. I'd rather save my gold and then buy good tier 2s. And hopefully find a good tier 3, too. And okay, we didn't lose. That's all I can ask for. And uh, yeah... Another change has to do with these guys. So when you level stuff up, it doesn't just give you something from the next tier anymore. Instead, it lets you choose something from the next tier. So it shows you two options and you get to take your pick. Uh, Puppy is now changed as well. This is now another one of the toy ones. I'm going to leave it because we still have another trigger on there and I can maybe scale with my tropical fish, which I prefer the idea of. Kind of want to sell the ducks. I think I might. It's not insane, but we have a, some gold to roll. And Drill, this is a new pet. Friend gains ailment, remove ailment, works one time per turn. I'm probably going to buy these just because they're large. And I can maybe try and go for a level up. But I don't actually care that much. And forget the start a battle, give frontmost friend plus 3 HP. So this has been altered. It is, it is different to how I remember. And hold on, let's scale up these two. Because I really don't care about the ferrets. And it's not that I care about the Drill, but it does have more HP. So it's probably worth a little bit more. All right, let's see. Okay, I'll take a draw. I didn't want to draw. I'd much prefer to get wins, but <laughs> that's fine. And there goes our thing. Here's a new pet as well, Robin. So start the battle, summon one, two, three nest with egg perk. This is a very cool pet, but you need to have an empty slot to make it work. So I'm actually not the biggest fan of it. Uh, shrimp is interesting. It's been reworked. So now his friend sold, give one random friend plus one plus one until the end of battle. The only thing is, I don't think that works at the moment. It currently does, um, it does give you plus one plus one until the end of battle, but then it doesn't go away after that. So, uh, yeah, that may be a bit bugged at the moment. But here we go. So now we're actually getting a level two tier one ability. So it's, um, twice the value, really. So we either do deal, deal two damage to two random enemies or give the rightmost friend plus two two when it breaks after two turns. I may go for the balloon this time, actually. Like, this is nice, but a two two buff on my back could actually be really helpful. And Meat Bones, something else, they've actually nerfed it again. It used to be 5 and then you nerfed it to 4, now it's 3 damage. Which <laughs> doesn't feel great. Dromedary is very interesting. I will leave it for now though. And you know what, just, just buy this. Just buy it. Okay. Okay, send that then. But yeah, Dromedary, it now, instead of just scaling the things you freeze, it actually scales the whole shop for that, um... Like, current shop tier, I guess? Not the best way to explain it, but what I'm trying to say is uh, if you're at like tier 2 when you have a dromedary, then it scales all tier 2s for the rest of the game by 1-1 one, one at the end of every turn. But once the shop tier upgrades, it starts scaling stuff from the next shop tier, which sounds really good. But at the same time, it, it doesn't hit every tier at once. So it's effectively like the value of a sixth of a can every turn. <laughs> which isn't amazing when you think about it. Anyway. Mole, another new thing, it's been, you know, removed from tier 4 and it's now a tier 3. And it is now a faint pet that removes three nearest family perks to uh, summon an 8 8 mole. And, I don't know, I won't be taking it now, obviously, but there are interactions you can do with that. 
I'm not liking this. Show me something nice. Buffalo and chameleon. I may try the buffalo, but it's not very good. The chameleon's also not very good. <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, I don't know. Buffalo. Do I even take it? I feel like the hatchy check is genuinely better. I think I just leave it. I don't want to do a buffalo build. Okay, so let's hatching check onto there. I think I need to... Oh no, because I want to do this. This is awkward. Maybe I do this. I wanted the hatching check to hit the bat, but I also really want the balloon to hit the bat, so... I guess we leave it that way for this turn. But yeah, if you didn't see, then the buffalo has actually been nerfed, so now it's three friends sold, game plus two plus two. That's pretty bad, and it's similar to the Bird of Paradise in the sense that it doesn't actually... It doesn't save progress between rounds. So if you don't sell all three in one round, then by the time the next round starts, you're back to zero out of three. And it's... Yeah, <laughs> it's not my favorite. Anyway, rice. I could add that to something. Give one pet rice perk, sell for two gold. So it just makes it a little bit easier to carry gold across turns, but not quite as good as um, avocado. But yeah, I don't know. There's still stuff we can find. Maybe buy another ferret. Just get another one of these. Like, I'll take another balloon. Take another balloon. I think I will just buy like... A rice for this, maybe. You're probably the next thing to get rid of. And I <laughs> croissant on here. It doesn't feel good, and I don't actually want the drill. But I don't know what else to do. Yeah, just send it like it is. Next turn, I'm going to have to move the bat to the front again. Because this is the only thing that I actually want to keep on my team, like, the whole time. What I might try and do is a Beluga Whale game. Because I just had one of those, and it seemed amazing. I got to nine trophies. And then I got, like, four draws in a row and then died. Which was very disappointing. Oh, bats. Love it. Okay. So, Stonefish and Snapping Turtle. Stonefish, I haven't really used. I bought it, like, twice, but it didn't seem very good, because both times it just traded into the thing and didn't do any damage. But Snapping Turtle's kind of interesting, because it has new equipment. Give the Skua perk to the nearest friend behind, which um, has the ability of attack second and third enemy for three damage. So, it kind of turns it into, a, like, a tiny octopus. It's, it's just interesting. Okay, so, do I sell the hatching chip for the Tropical Fish? I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to do that as well, but... Yeah, let's, let's get rid of this. Let's just get loads of money this turn. Grab some other stuff here. Tor. I could also just pill this. Also, Panther is very interesting. So, perks are doubled as effective for this. Uh, I, I just love it. <laughs> I really do, and this could actually be amazing, because if I'm giving everything weakness, and then I have, like, spammy damage coming out, then there, there could be synergy there. Okay, let's get rid of the Tropical Fish this turn. I'm going to buy this and freeze a pill. Sadly, pills now cost two gold, so I can't actually do it this turn. <laughs> Very sad. Uh, leave white whale. I thought, well, whale shark, sorry. I thought I was going to use this, but I don't think I will. Gonna leave the tour as well. It's similar to the snapping turtle I had, but gives chili to the thing behind instead. It may actually be worth putting it on there to start, actually. Yeah, for now, do that. Or not. <laughs> or not. I need stats on the panther. I don't actually need a big bat, but I need this thing to be large. So yeah, let the balloon pop onto the panther. And then after that, I can pill the snapping turtle onto the panther. And hopefully that'll be enough to get me some... some wins. And damn, that was barely a fight. <laughs> I have a nice team, but I didn't think it was that good. Alright, Owl is now different, by the way. It's start of turn, summon a level 1 mouse, so that's not something I can buy sell for stats, sadly. And we'll spend 2 gold on the pill to give this thing the skewer. And Otter's also been nerfed. It now has one more HP itself, but doesn't give any attack when you buy them. So that's also like a bad buy sell pet now. Very sad to see. Salt is interesting, but no. Another bat. Yeah, buy it and just slap it there. I'm debating buying the ferret this turn as well. I could wait for tier 6, and I would like scaling, but I could also scale with a poodle if I find that. So maybe I do it now because I also kind of want to get the level 3 tier 1 thing. Chicken and goat. I'm not going to do any buy selling. Goat is the same. Chicken is now a tier 5, and it's similar to the dromedary. Its scaling now only affects, like, certain tiers. So if you buy a tier 6 with the chicken, it will scale tier 6 in the shot by 1-1 one, one for the rest of the game. So it's it's weird. I can see it working in custom packs. I don't know how good it's going to be in this. I tried it once with um triple buffalo, and it was okay, but yeah, I, I don't think I want either of these. And let's take the balloon again. Like, I'm pretty happy trying to get more stats on there. Take this, and we roll... And what else? Maybe put those two that way. I don't need this to be at the front. I can maybe put it one behind, but 
I don't know, if I run into something similar, then this may just die to random snipes before it can even get its own ability off. I definitely need to make it larger. Eh, see, like, hit three things. Those things didn't happen to have a lot of... I don't know, weakness on them, so it didn't actually do that much damage, but... I like it. Another bat! Oh, we have the level. There is also a poodle here. Octopus! Dude! Also great with the weakness. Mongoose is also interesting, because I'd actually get to find a, um, a tier 6 toy. So instead of a level 3 tier 1, we'd get like level 1 tier 6. But, yeah, the octopus is too good to pass up. So let's get rid of the ferret. I really don't care about scaling that. I don't care about the drill either. Maybe I get rid of that so the poodle doesn't miss the bats. Doesn't feel great, but I don't know. I have a lot of time to try and find something else to sell the ferret for. Don't really care about a pangolin. I get one more roll if I really need. I don't think Axolotl is going to be it either. And, oh, another poodle. That's, that is exactly it. So I may lose this turn, and I fully embrace that. But double poodle scaling, they're going to hit everything. Like, that is very good. Snapping turtle could have been something, maybe. Because I could always spill that on something else, but I think I'm fine. So, uh, yeah, what's the best order, then? Also, this is after attack now, so I actually don't know how good octopus is. I'd like to believe that it's still good, but yeah, I haven't used it yet. Oh, this is a very big team, that scares me. No. <laughs> also, does Skua only work after it like survives an attack, or what? I can't tell. Stingray, that's probably worth combining the Poodles, actually. Yeah, combine Poodles by this. So this is a tier 5 thing. Flashlight, break, give uh, Rhymo's thing 6-6. Six, six. That's very helpful. I think Tiny House is fine, but it's not really great the earlier you, earlier you find it. Mosasaurus is also interesting, because when a toy breaks, it gives the two adjacent things plus 3-3. Three, three. Probably worth taking, and, you know, it's not going to eat up any bad buffs, so... You know, in a couple of turns' time, that's going to actually help out a bit. And, <laughs> yes, okay. So, I'm going to throw this on there. Another octopus. Dude, I can level that next turn. Going to leave the elephant seal. It's a weird scaler, but sadly it doesn't work with the ailment effects like weakness and ink, which I thought it would because I tried a whale shark uh, element seal microbe game and this was doing nothing and it was very, very sad. Uh, but yeah, does my order matter yet? I don't know. I really don't know. My team's too small. Like, I have the scaling now, so I might be okay, but I am scared of the teams that have like actual scaling and might all be like 30 30s by now. Which aren't going to be everywhere, but <laughs> I imagine there are some. Okay. Good. Seven trophies. Still like three HP, I think, too. Yeah. So yeah, there's not like too much to worry about. Uh, level U. We have to level U. Mongoose sauropods. I don't think I'm really going to use either. Like, I could use a mongoose, but again, I'd have to sell the Mosasaurus. But I guess the Mosasaurus actually isn't that good anyway, because <laughs> once this breaks, I don't have a way to get another... Uh, another thing, so then its ability won't work. And here's a new food, by the way. Give pets pancake perk. And that gives them plus two, plus two on the start of battle. So I guess that'd be really good on Panther, but I also really like having Skewer on it. I just need to find levels and stuff. Well, well, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just pancakes on you, then. Pancakes on you. That makes sense to me. And then I want you to hit those two. And then next turn, we can sell the Mosasaurus, buy, sell Mongoose, and then end on another Poodle. It's like, I'm wasting some of the stats, but this thing really doesn't need more. <laughs> no! No, that could have been such a good fight! Damn. I got out-weaknessed. Okay, so you get the most out of that. Uh, melon on the Octopus seems like a pretty good idea as well. But yeah, let's sell this first, buy the Mongoose. I want to see what it gives me. So these are tier 6 toys, and there are three of them, as you may notice. Uh, start a battle, give the rightmost pet peanut perk, rightmost pet coconut perk, or when it breaks, give everything plus 2-2. Two, two. So we are very close to the end of the game. I could maybe just throw the bat to the front and then give that a peanuts. Like That may be pretty solid. I could also just like throw this to the front and give it <laughs> coconut armor. That would also be okay, but yeah, I'm going to try the peanuts, I think. Try the peanuts, give that to you. Uh, sell Mongoose, buy other Poodle. I really don't think I'm going to take Salt, so I'm just going to roll a bit. Don't really care about any of this. 
Uh, T-Rex only scales tier 5s and up. I do have three of those. So it would be slightly better than the Poodle. And it doesn't require money anymore either. I wouldn't hit the bats. I don't know, I could freeze that. That's a maybe. And then, yeah, I want this at the front. I could also just throw it on the Poodle. But I, I'm too afraid of it just insta-dying to something and then that not being good. Maybe do it this way. Actually, yeah, yeah, no, let's do it this way. Okay, let's see. I'm trusting that it makes more sense to put it on the bat, because this might actually survive two hits, and if I can get it above 20 stuff. Oh, it's so close. Okay, well, we're fine. <laughs> it still worked out. So that eight. Eight trophies, good. Okay, so do I combine the poodles and then buy the T-Rex? I think so. Okay, do that. Is there something better to give to this? A stake, maybe? Like, I do like the extra stats on these, but... I still can't believe I haven't been able to level this up. Like, that's very disappointing. Oh. I'll just buy it. Okay. And stake on this, sure. Okay, so that's probably where we're going to be going with this build. I was really hoping to level the Panther, because then I'd get, like, triple the value and then quadruple at level 4. And I haven't actually been seeing if it's doing much for the... The skewer, I'll be honest. But, but I'm trusting that it does. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Solid. One more, please. We're so close. And another T Rex. I don't know about that one, honestly. I think this is worth taking. Freeze it. No chocolate. Again, it's probably the last turn. I can maybe find better equipment for the poodle, but that'd probably just be another steak. But I doubt I'd buy it anyway. I think I'd just buy this, and then if I lose, then I can try and go for something. Free steak. Free steak, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mongoose. Just leave it. We're probably fine without another tier 5, sorry, tier 6 equipment. Because, like, there is good stuff, but I don't really need it. Okay. I don't know, maybe I should have frozen it. Like, it's not like the Poodle's doing that much, because it's a scaler, it's scaling a lot, but I could always substitute it out to get, like, a good equipment instead. And turns out, yeah, it would have been better to have, to have my peanuts. I am okay, though. Yeah, okay, cool, we did it. There we go. <laughs> there is a, there is a new puppy pack win. I kind of wish I had ended up using more of the the new pets. I did on the last couple of runs, but they didn't actually get wins. They just made it like eight to nine trophies. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. There's tons of cool stuff, and I can't wait to try more of the new synergies and <laughs> toys and everything. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.